this is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. We got episode number 75 of the No Money Spent Squad series. It's been a couple days since the last episode dropped, but we made some really big moves, added two 99 overall cards to the squad. I'm going to show you a bunch of clips from a live stream a couple days ago and all of the moves that we made to do what we did. Honestly, I might get rid of musgrave and just go back to jordan reed i could basically get michael vick at quarterback on this team if i go with jordan reed over musgrave and sell combine bow i'm really thinking about doing it what do we think chat do we go do we go with vick on no money spent it's a pretty big purchase all right let's do it let me open up these coin packs that i've been sitting on forever because we're gonna need the coins now every little bit's gonna help here can i get a 10k 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 5k and a 10k to close it out come on come on okay 10k to close it out right here come on come on come on all right we're doing it we're gonna do it vix on no money spent so i have a bunch of quick sells from the golden ticket packs most of them stunk, but I got incredibly lucky and got 25k. Did anybody get 25k from a, a, go a golden ticket pack last night? Or was I super lucky? All right, so there's another 53k. So that puts us at 340. Musgrave was on the team for all of about one week. Very good card, especially for the price, but we need the coins. Let's go ahead and sell him. Is he, he is going for over 400k, so I'm not gonna quick sell him. We'll go like 400. Two. Make sure he's the cheapest one up right now. I got him for like 380 something, 385 I think. So that's gonna be it. That's a huge W. And we're gonna sell Combine Bo Jackson quarterback too. I have to think I'm gonna get a good 200k or so from him. Yeah, basically 200k. I'll list him for that. I think I might actually try to complete the set too, because I'll get XP for doing that. I don't know if it's gonna cost me more or less, but we actually have some pieces for this too. Oh yeah, this is gonna cost me less than I thought. Plus, I got a bunch of pieces to complete this. We just need a random 92 overall. There we go. 92 for under 20k. Basically, Binder Trash built us out a 95 overall Ring of Honor, and that's going to help us with objectives. Knocking out this field pass. All right, I'll just take this one for 85. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of thinking about it here. I got a little under 300k. Still waiting for Musgrave to sell. Do we go super crazy and get Randy Moss on No Money Spent too? I kind of feel like we do. How, well, how much are the 98s though? 350? All right, I'm going to be impatient here because nobody's buying my Luke Musgrave. I think I'm going to have to quick sell it. I don't want to, but I need somebody to buy it ASAP. Nah, I'm just going to quick sell it. Save myself some time. See you later, Luke. Appreciate your efforts. Oh, nope, still there. W, 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 W. All right, Michael Vick. 99 overall Michael Vick is on the No Money Spent Squad. It's another example of being extremely smart with our coins. Not mad at it at all. Not mad at it at all. I, I have to think there's something in my binder that I could sell for, like, scraps if I really needed to. But I need this Moss to sell. I mean, this Nico to sell. Oh, he's actually even more than more than I thought. Hold on. Think I can get this off for like 350? I'm gonna go 340. I need somebody to buy this for 340. Do I have anything else in here that I can sell? I have to have like some low budget 90 overall card that I'm just sitting in my binder that can give me a couple thousand coins. These are all B and D. Here we go. 91 Derek Thomas. 10K or so. 91s go for 10k. All right, let's head to the auction house and see what Moss is going for. I mean, I always just... Oh, 580. Hurry up. Get it, get it, get it, Mike. Get it, get it. Let's go. Randy Moss is on the squad too. Let's go. Since that recording, prices have shifted a little bit, most specifically on Randy Moss, because we did get a 99 overall Megatron card that dropped today. But overall, still very happy with the moves that we made. Now, we got a bunch of free packs to open up. Completing that Ring of Honor Michael Vick set allowed us to finish up the Ring of Honor Field Pass. So we got some 91 plus packs in here. I think we have a 95 plus pack somewhere in here. I'm going to start right out with that one and see if we can get lucky and maybe pull a 98 or a 99 overall card it is going to be a bnd so if anything we're going to end up quick selling the card 
and that's what we get a 95 so we did get the bare minimum unfortunately i've been saying it for the last couple episodes we're definitely going to do it in this one after we open up all of these packs i have a ton of bnd cards and we'll have even more after opening up all this free content but i have a ton of bnd packs that are sitting in my binder right now and training doesn't have a ton of value you know you can open up mystery packs with it if you want but ea did announce earlier this week i think on thursday and we don't know the date of when this promo is going to be dropping but we are going to be getting a theme team all-star promo and it's going to feature an alternate currency or a new currency so if you played mutt 24 sorry mutt 23 last year that promo was called the theme team remix promo and it had these like remix tokens that you would use to upgrade players and it's going to feature a bunch of 99 overalls but my point of bringing this up training came into play for that promo and if this theme team all-star promo mimics theme team remix last year that means that training could have some value i'm not saying i'm going to be becoming a millionaire off of it but all of these bnd cards that we've been getting from these field pass packs and just things you know the daily one coin offer they're going to turn into some training and we're still sitting on 66k currently remember we got a big chunk of that by quick selling that welcome pack carl weathers from the real deals promo so that turned in i think that was what 65,000 training and i also believe i still have andrew whitworth from the season five field pass sitting in my binder this is our first video since season six dropped as well so we got a bunch of new free rewards that we're going to be able to start going after sitting at a 97 overall right now but definitely have some upgrades on the way that will be free and uh, we're broke again we're at 89k after all of those transactions i do want to kind of show you everything and recap what we did i mean you saw the video in most of what we did but there are a bunch of cards that we sold lower overall cards cards that we tend to get from free packs like this from field passes and whatnot we got a week left before the competitive pass expires trying to get that zaven collins but i don't know if we're going to make it there just yet here we go with a red zone pack let's see what we get in this one and nothing good of course all of this binder trash we got the draft welcome pack and this features a, a potentially or not potential but it will get there a 98 overall tyler lockett i don't really need a new wide receiver right now but he might have a place on the team just specifically because of the speed. There is all of our free packs. I just wanted to show you all the notifications. So again, uh, to, to get enough coin to sell Randy Moss, and he's cheaper now because of Megatron, we had to sell a bunch of like 89s, 90s, 91s that were sitting in our binder there. We had the bigger pieces. There's their purchase for Randy Moss for 580k. More things that we sold to get the coins that we needed. Some of the cards that we had to buy to potentially, or not potentially, but eventually complete that Michael Vick set but it was all worth it because the team is looking really really good right now even though we're broke and have no coins at all so I was right we do have the 97 overall Andrew Whitworth from the season 5 field pass sitting in the binder if you guys were unaware this one quick sells for 65,000 training and we're not going to need it because we got Andrew Thomas over there at left tackle who gets the care protector for zero AP so I'm going to go through and basically quick sell all of the BNDs in the binder I'm going to keep Roddy White because he's going to get boosted because we got Michael Vick at QB number one. Other than that, I think all other BNDs that are sitting in here are goners. Don't expect to get a ton of training from them because being that they're BNDs, that training amount's going to get cut pretty bad. Hopefully we can use this to our benefit when that theme team remix or theme team all-star promo comes out. We'll see how that all works out and we don't know exactly when it's coming out, but to have a little bit of training in the stash, we'll be prepared for it. I don't think i want to be bothered with all these super low overall cards now so i'm going to quick sell like everything that's 85 overall and below as well being that i'm so broke you know maybe i should go out and try to sell all of this even if it's going for pennies because that could help me uh you know obviously get my coin count up but i'm gonna save myself time right now instead of coin and we're gonna quick sell all of that so now we're sitting at 232,000 training again no idea what we're gonna use this on but i think it will come into play in that promo and being that we got a new competitive pass this upcoming friday and we're in a brand new field pass right now for season six there's a lot of coin rewards in there i know sometimes you see like 10 20 and 25k rewards 
rewards, a lot of it adds up. And I think just simply going back and starting to play the game now, we'll be able to get our coin count back up and earn a bunch of free packs. And hopefully we get some good stuff out of those free packs to sell. But here is what the team is now looking like with those new additions. So we got Michael Vick at QB1, Moss and Christian Watson on the outside. Love, you know, he's got to, we got to pay the one AP for evasive air, but I love my wide receiver one and two having jukebox or evasive. And now both of those guys have it. Justin Jefferson is going to be wide receiver number three. I don't think Tyler Lockett's going to be better than any of these three guys. If we really needed to, we could sell Christian Watson and put Lockett there. We would lose that evasive, but we would be able to gain some coins. So it's something that we can do if needed, but we don't really need to right now. Um, so we're okay with, with the lineup on offense. Here's Jordan Reed at tight end number one. Him and Kevin Mawai are the two fully maxed out team captains that I'm rocking with, but eventually we would love to get a center with zero AP or one AP secure protector. And we do have that opportunity right now with the NFL draft promo. We either have to win 20 games in the draft game mode or 35 solo battle slash head to head games. And that's going to give us a 99 overall center. So that is something that I'm going to try to work on this week on the No Money Spent Squad so we can upgrade this position and get some better abilities there. No big changes on defense because both the guys that we added were on offense. But I think Jair Brown might eventually be on his way out. So season six features four 99 overalls. Three of them can be at a 99, one sticks at a 97. And Harrison Smith, though he's probably like my third favorite choice out of the bunch, I think Harrison Smith might be my first choice and be upgrading or being an upgrade over Jair Brown at strong safety. He doesn't get deep zone KO, unfortunately, but he does get mid zone KO. So we're going to probably try that route. And I think the first best option, but maybe not for this team, is going to be Bobby Wagner. Unfortunately, we got BND Patrick Willis and BND John Madden here. So eventually, Bobby Wagner is going to replace one of these two cards, and we're not going to be able to make any coin off of that replacement, just training. But those are probably the two biggest changes that I would expect on the defense in the very near future. For the most part, you know, on a budget team, I like everybody. I'd like to upgrade my corners eventually, but these guys, these guys are still getting the job done. So really, the, the next episode or the, the focus for this upcoming week here on no money spent now that we got a pretty good team is to go into that mutt draft game mode and not even actually use this team but use a team that we drafted to go out there and get those 20 wins maybe we can go five and oh five times i don't know if i'll have the time to do that but i think we potentially can we have the skill level to do it and it doesn't matter how good or bad our no money spent squad is because you don't need to use your mutt team for that event but the main goal here is to go get those 20 wins so we can upgrade our center position, get a 99 overall, and maybe upgrade another team captain now that we'll have those tokens to use and take off of Kevin Mawai. But that's it for episode number 75. We'll be back in a day or two with the next one. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.